if you happen to have both the V8 and V9 sound card and if you're curious if it is possible to connect them and use them both at the same time in this video we will find out if it is possible. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the uh, cables or cords we will be using. So for the V9 sound card, this two cords comes once it's purchased. So it looks like that. And uh, for the V8 sound card, of course, the same thing. It comes with the two cords or cables, uh, looks like that when it is purchased. And of course, we'll use the condenser uh, microphone and this is the cord for that. And uh, if we're going to, I'm going to show you if we're going to use a portable speaker and this one here, we will just use this one as our active speaker because the back port is same as active speaker. And if you're going to use the active speaker or the portable speaker, these are the extra cords we will be using. If in case you need to, you need to connect to a portable speaker, we will be using this one. And to an active speaker, we will use this one. So the RCA23. 3.5 mm and because I will be using an iOS or an iPhone for recording that's that's why we will need this uh, audio adapter if you prefer to use the headset you can use it and again you have the choice to use the uh, portable speaker or an active speaker and uh, this cord here this is another extra cord this is the one we will use so it's a 3.5 mm on on both ends female this is the one we will use to connect uh, them both by the way i'm just going to show you quickly these two cords here are the same so both uh, 3.5 mm and female on both the ends and now let's start the connections Okay, so first we're going to uh, connect the uh, condenser microphone to here and uh, the other end we will connect to the V8. So the setup we will be doing first is from V8 to V9. So which means we're going to be using the V9 to do recording or live uh, streaming. So again, the condenser microphone will be connected to the V8 and there's only one port here for the condenser microphone which is uh, that one right there that's where we're going to connect it okay and uh, next we are going to use one of this one here and uh, one we are going to connect uh, to here to the V9 sound card from live one or live two again because we are going to be using the v9 as as the one for recording or live streaming so you just select live one or live two it doesn't matter now we are going to connect this one to the gadget we will be using for recording or live streaming and again as i mentioned earlier i will be using an ios or iphone for recording so since the port is different and that is why we will need this audio adapter so just connect that and this end right there. And we are going to use one of these. So this one, a 3.5 mm female on both ends. So our purpose here is we are going to be connecting the V8 to the V9 so that we can use both of the sound effects of the V8 sound card as well as the V9. So from the V8 sound card you're going to connect or we're going to connect this and uh, from the earphone earphone or headphone it doesn't matter so right there earphone or headphone so we're just going to use the earphone and the other end we will connect to the V9 sound card under um, capacitor 1 or 2 so it doesn't matter also you just select either so let's say capacitor 1 Okay, so again, from earphone or head headphone right there to the capacitor one or two of the, to the V9 sound card. Okay, what else we will be needing? If in case you want, let's say for example, we are not going to be using a headphone or headset, we will use a portable speaker. If you prefer to do, to do that, so you will need another one of these. So the one, same as the one we just connected. So one end we will connect from here so we will connect the like the 
like an active speaker or a portable speaker from here because if you only connect the speaker or headphone from here whatever sound effects from here you will not be able to hear so only from here but again because we want to use both the sound effects from here and there the headphone or speaker or active speaker should be connected from here so we have two ports here same as the v8 sound card you can just select either headphone or earphone so we will connect let's connect one in the headphone and the other one in here so in the portable speaker we can actually connect also direct we can now connect because there is still one more port there we can connect a headphone to the active speaker now and that's so we will need this one the rca to 3.5 mm both uh, uh, female on their ends okay so again we will use the headphone port that's the av only available port and the other one the other end we will connect to the active speaker okay so now that's the time we will need this one here Okay, so this is the back side for this. Uh, this is like, this is actually a karaoke machine, but again, we will just uh, use this one as sample for active speaker because the port here is pretty much the same as active speaker. So from here, just uh, connect the RCA port under aux in. Again, don't connect it, the one that says audio out. If there's uh, audio out in your uh, speaker, make sure it's aux in. Okay, and it looks like that. This is just for the power of uh, this uh, machine. Okay, so just simply white to white and red to red. Okay. And now we're all set. So just uh, so you know, I added one cord here because this is low battery. So the one that says charging on here, I just uh, connected it to a power bank and uh, you can do that. So you can connect it in a power bank uh, if in case you're low battery and you wanted to use it. So that is uh, possible to do, to do that. And uh, we can now turn on this uh, V8 sound card and this V9 sound card and uh, we will be using an ipad as our background music or minus one we'll be using youtube as our background music or minus one so we will be connecting this one uh, this ipad to this v9 sound card because this is the one we'll be using for for uh, recording and i suggest connect them using bluetooth so that you don't need to use uh, another wire so to do that if you like for those uh, who do not know yet how to do it simply go to the your settings and then uh, select the bluetooth and uh, tap this one here this icon the bluetooth icon from the v9 sound card and once it's blinking it means it should be it should show up over here and there it is the one that says frj speaker and it's connected so which means whatever we play on here so especially this uh, youtube any youtube uh, music will uh, come out from this v9 sound card and if it's connected to a like a portable speaker on an active or an active speaker then it'll come out from there as well so okay let's now uh, let's uh, give it a try and we're again as i mentioned uh, we will be using this uh, iphone for our we'll be using this uh, for our recording so there it is so first we'll try this uh, a portable speaker let's turn it on as well okay there it is and let's just grab this uh, condenser microphone okay and now let's uh, give it a sample so this uh, portable speaker is now turned on let's uh, give it a try sound check testing one two so as you notice you can hear the sound from this portable speaker and uh, to try if uh, it does uh, uh, pick up the uh, this uh, sound effects from here and also from there. Let's give it a try. Let's uh, try this laughter. Okay, there it is. And let's try the kiss. Okay, what about let's try the sorry for the feedback. Okay, let's uh, try this one here. 
uh, yet let's say slash okay and this nine two seven seven okay and uh, let's try here let's say giggle okay so as you notice it, it does uh, pick up both uh, sound effects from here and there what about uh, let's try the voice changer so voice changer from here sound check testing one two so it does change my voice uh, let's uh, press it one more time sound check testing one two now let's uh, okay let's just turn it off and now let's uh, try the uh, Peach or the sound voice changer on the V9 if it works. Let's press this one one time. Sound check, testing one, two. So it does work. Let's press it again. Sound check, testing one, two. One, two. Okay, so as you notice, it does work. And for some of you that does not want the echo, just uh, press it down and uh, your voice will be flat although there is still a little bit of, of echo because there is still echo on here if you turn this down then there you go your voice is so flat if that's what you prefer okay let's just put it back sound check and let's just put some effects on here too sound check testing one two so there is uh, uh, because the speaker is so close and that's why there. it might uh, feedback also sound check testing one two so I cannot really turn or turn the volume up for this mic sound check testing one two one two three four okay and um, even let's say to mute if you press mute on here it will not work sound check sound check testing so there's nothing let me just uh, unmute sound check testing one two okay so there it is it does uh, it does work okay now let's uh, turn off this portable speaker and let's turn on the uh, the speaker from there it's like our active speaker so let's turn this off and let's turn on this one it might feedback sound check sound check testing one two so this time we are using already this uh, speaker sound check testing one two let's try some just a few of uh, the sound effects from here let's say pubg okay so that works what about this uh, left uh, cheer okay so it does work and let's try the sound effects from the v8 pubg again So if it's loud, you can control, if you're pressing the background music from here, of course, you can control the, the volume from there, the backing track volume. Okay, so let's try again, let's say ding ding. Okay, if it's too loud, you can control it from the backing track right there. Okay, and uh, let's just uh, check, let's say, give it a try for the voice changer. Sound okay. check, testing okay. one, two. Yeah and let's just turn it off and let's try the voice or the voice changer from here the one that says peach sound check testing one two okay so as you notice it does work on both v8 and uh, v9 and now let's give it a try uh, let's say using the uh, voice over if it works okay let's uh, play this one okay there it is and as you notice even if i press this voice over right there the the instrument still continue playing because this is connected the ipad music or sounds is connected only to the v9 so that means the voice over from here doesn't work so it, let's just turn it off so it should work on here the voice over from here let's press this one so as I'm talking, as you notice, uh, the, there is no instrument or the instrument from here is low. And now I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there it is. So it does work. Okay, let's just uh, pause that one. And now let's uh, give it a, a little sample. Let's say you wanted to do a karaoke song or recording. 
Okay, you can also do this one like using live streaming. You just go live and uh, like go to your uh, Facebook account and go live. This should be what your audience will be hearing. Okay, and now let's give it a little sample. Let's say we're going to record a, a short uh, portion of this song. Sound check, testing one, two, and now let's hit record from here and let's play our uh, karaoke song. I never thought I'd come this far But miracles come true And there it is, let's just stop uh, the music And let's play uh, our recorded song if it did record Okay, so as you notice, it did, it did record And... Uh, and now we're going to switch this setting. We're going to connect the V9 sound card to the V8 sound card, and then we will use the V8 to uh, record or do a live streaming if you'd like. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the back. So again, we will be using the V8 sound card to record, and uh, we will, we're will we going to transfer the chords here to here and this one to there. And take note, we will not be using this chord anymore, the one that says live one from the V9 sound card and the other end is on here on this phone because the port is different. So again, we'll not be using that. We will be using one of these instead. So to connect it again, you just select from here, live one or live two for recording or live streaming using the V8 sound card. And the other end for sure, we will connect to this phone here uh, as this is what we will be using for recording or live streaming. And uh, so we'll transfer this one to here. So. I think, I think it's best if we remove everything so it's uh, clear, more clear. Okay, so the, again, the condenser microphone, we will connect to the V9 sound card, either capacitor one or two, it doesn't matter. Let's put it under capacitor two. And, uh, and this one, we will connect to the headphone right there, headphone or earphone, it doesn't matter. So connect that in there. And the other one, we will connect to the condenser microphone right there. And uh, so we will, let's say for example, we are going to uh, connect it to the, like this speaker right there. So we will use the 3.5 mm to the RCA cord. RCA end is already connected to the back of this speaker as I showed you earlier. So this one will be connecting to the earphone or headphone port of the V8 sound card. We're not going to be trying the, the portable speaker. Instead, we'll be trying the speaker from the karaoke machine. The same thing. If you want to use a headset, it's, it's up to you. Um, for this video, maybe we're not going to be using this one. Uh, so at least you can hear while like I'm testing it. Okay, so let's uh, give it a sample. Now let's turn on this uh, V8 sound card and this V9 sound card. And let's uh, prepare also our instrument. We'll be using the same instrument or background music or minus one from YouTube. Because we'll be using the same uh, background music from YouTube, we're going to connect this one to the V8 sound card uh, using the Bluetooth. So, so that we will not be using this one. But if you want, or just simply connect this one under the backing track of this uh, V9 sound card. But if you want to use Bluetooth, uh, it's up to you also. So if in case you want to use a Bluetooth, okay, just simply go to your settings if you want to use Bluetooth. So Bluetooth right there, and that should be the one, the one that says V8. So if you click that, this one, you don't need to, there's no turning on, like there's no turn off and turn on uh, for the Bluetooth. So, okay, so it says here V8 is connected. So it's now connected. But again, if you prefer to use this other cord, uh, connect this one and under the backing track at the back of this one and connect it to the headphone jack or headphone port of this uh, iPad. And then it should be the same thing. Okay, let's now go to the YouTube. Okay, it's right there. And before we do that, before we uh, try recording, let's give it a try first if, uh, if it does the same thing, if it pick up both the sound effects from here to here. 
Okay, let's turn on now this uh, speaker. Okay, and now we're all uh, set again. So again, um, we are using this uh, V8 sound card for recording in this uh, setup. And this one is uh, now ready again. The minus one is uh, currently, or the YouTube song is currently connected to this uh, V8 sound card. Let's give it a little sample. Okay, so let's test first, soundtrack, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four, soundtrack, testing. Okay, let's just go to the, like the camera from this one. I'm just using the uh, built-in camera of this iPhone. I have not downloaded any application. So this is the video and of course it has to face towards me. And let's now uh, play our uh, music. And by the way, for uh, the volume for this one, it's up to you. You can control the volume from here or from the uh, backing truck over there. And by the way, in uh, both the setup, it's either to use this one for recording or this one for recording. To be on the safe side, I suggest make sure the record knob on both is, is on high so that it records also your audio, not only the video. Okay, now let's give it a little sample. Let's play our uh, karaoke song or instrument from YouTube and let's hit record from here. My heart always seemed to drift from day to day Looking for the love that never came my way Okay, let's uh, stop it from there and let's stop our recording. And now let's play if it did record. Okay, let's uh, simply do that and uh, unmute. Okay, let's just turn the volume up from here. Always seem to drift from day to day Looking for the love that never came my way Okay, there you go. So as uh, you notice, it did record. And now let's uh, check the uh, voiceover function. So let's uh, turn this on and let's play our instrument. Okay, sound check, testing one, two, testing one, two. And now let's stop. I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there it is. So the voiceover does work. Again, if we're going to turn on the voiceover from here, uh, there, there shouldn't be any effect at all. Okay, sound check. Okay, this one is still turned on, that's why. Okay, there you go, sound check, testing one, two. So again, voiceover and the setup only works uh, from here, from the V8 sound card. There it is, so it does, uh, it does work. And that's all I can share for today. I hope this video gives you an idea on how to connect V8 to V9 and V9 to V8 uh, sound card. Thanks again for watching. If you like this type of video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be uh, posting. Keep safe and uh, till next time.